we're gonna start off by defining the derivative okay here's the definition of the derivative of a function you have f prime of x again f prime is the notation for derivative equals the limit of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h as h approaches zero that's the definition and that's important because every time we solve the derivative we're gonna go back to that definition okay so uh, let's try okay let's have one example so find the derivative of f of x equals 11x minus 5 so to do that we're gonna use our definition okay so again this is the definition of the derivative of a function so let's use that so f prime of x is equal to the limit as x, h approaches 0 of f of x plus h what does that mean that means wherever x appears in our function we're gonna replace that with x plus h so here we will have 11 so instead of writing x here we're gonna write x plus h because we're gonna replace our x with x plus h okay so that's our f of x plus h okay again you replace x with x plus h okay so instead of writing 11 x minus 5 we write 11 x plus h minus 5 okay then minus f of x, well f of x is just 11x minus 5, so just copy that. And then we will divide by h, okay? And then now we will simplify. So that's the limit as h approaches 0. We will uh, distribute 11, so that will give us 11x plus 11h minus 5. And then we're going to distribute the negative, so minus 11x plus 5 over h, okay? And observe, we can cancel out 11x and negative 11x. We can also cancel out negative 5 and positive 5. So what's left is the limit as h approaches 0 of 11h over 11 but we can also cancel out the uh, h and so finally that will give us just 11 so the derivative of f of x equals 11x minus 5 is 11 Okay, let's have another example. Find the derivative of f of x equals 3x squared minus 7x. Okay, so again, let's just follow the definition. f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h. Again, every time you see x, you replace that with x plus h. Okay. So, therefore, f of x plus h will be 3 times, here we see that we have an x, so we'll replace that with x plus h, okay? So, instead of writing 3x squared, we're writing 3x plus h squared, minus... Now, instead of writing 7x, we're going to write 7 times x plus h, okay? So, that's our f of x plus h minus f of x. Well, 
f of x is just 3x squared minus 7x so just copy that and then we're gonna divide that by h okay then we'll simplify so that's the limit as h approaches 0 okay so then we'll have 3 times h plus x plus h squared that gives us x squared plus 2xh plus h squared okay i'm just doing the foil method here and then minus 7 times x plus h i'm just gonna copy copy that and then we have here i'm gonna distribute the negative for both terms here so that's negative 3x squared plus 7x and then we will divide everything by h okay let's continue so that will be now here i'm gonna distribute the 3 on all terms so that's 3x squared plus 6h 6xh plus 3h squared minus and i'm also going to distribute 7 to both x and h so minus 7x minus 7h okay minus 3x squared plus 7x all over h okay then see if we can cancel out some terms we definitely can cancel out 3x squared and negative 3x squared and 7x and negative 7x and so what's left so we have limit as h approaches 0 of 6 x h plus 3 h squared minus 7 h over h okay and then in the numerator h is a common factor so we can factor it out so that's equal to the limit as h approaches 0 we factor out h it's left inside will be 6x plus 3h minus 7 all over h and see we can cancel out our h's okay now that equals the limit as h approaches 0 of 6 x plus 3h minus 7 okay now we can now evaluate by direct substitution so there's there's no h here so let's just copy that here we have an h so let's just substitute that with zero so h is zero minus 7 and so that finally gives us 6x minus 7 and this is the answer this is the derivative of 3x squared minus 7x this is it